How's it going everybody? Solo Black 313 Rise and Ride coming at you. And today will be part five of Project 2000 Katana 750. But before we get started, I need you guys to give me a, a helping hand here. This is my little uh, abandoned kitten that I found on the street and he doesn't have a name. So whether you're a subscriber or not, Hey, could you, in the comments below, could you put down some names that we could possibly give my little kitten here? Everybody should go through life with a name. All right, let's get into part five of Project 2000 Katana 750. Mwah. All right, let's get to it. Now, today is part five in the series. Now, as you know, today we should have been synchronizing the carburetors, but because of the crankshaft problem, we can't do that today. I'm going to have to push it back a little bit. Now, if you're just coming to the channel, let me give you a little bit of an update. In part four, we installed a new neutral safety switch because I wasn't getting neutral. I couldn't start the bike with the kickstand down, and I didn't have a neutral light on the dashboard. But unbeknownst to me, the bike had fell overnight because of a jack stand that I had. And um, the air went out of this jack and caused the bike to fall over, breaking the uh, crankshaft sprocket cover. So I had to go to eBay and buy a new crankcase sprocket cover. And that's what we're going to do, do today. We're going to install that new crankcase sprocket cover. So let's get started. Okay guys, this is the new, I'm going to stop saying crank case sprocket cover because I'm having a hard time. I'm just going to say sprocket cover. Alright, this is the new sprocket cover. I got it off of eBay. It was $174. Now, like I said in the last video I did, uh, when I went to eBay I saw it, it said $75. I clicked on it and then after confirmation of my sale. I wasn't paying attention and I actually paid $174 for the sprocket cover. Now I'm not saying that's a bad deal, but $75 of the $174 was delivery. It came from um, Italy. So um, I don't know if I could have got one cheaper from America, probably. But like I said, when I went to Rev uh, uh, Parkzilla, uh, they had an OEM and it was $189, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the one we have to work with. So let's cut this baby open and uh, see what it's looking like. Now this one, uh, it, it was advertised that it, it's going to have a, um, let's see. it's going to have a speed sensor and a um, clutch cable on there. I don't need the clutch cable or the speed sensor, but now I got an extra. Wow, look at all the packing. <laughs> This is it right here. Get the garbage out of the way. That's it. So this is the new sprocket cover. Um, like I said, it came with an extra clutch cable. Now I have an extra clutch cable and this is the speed sensor. I have an extra speed sensor. Hey, it, it, it can't hurt. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take the speed sensor and the clutch uh, cable off and then uh, we'll go ahead and put this on the katana. Okay, we're going to start off by taking uh, the speed sensor off. Thank you. 
and I'm going to, uh, for temporarily for right now, I'm going to stick that screw back into the speed sensor. We'll start removing the bolts that hold uh, the sprocket cover in place. Now, what you're going to remember is you have to, it's best, I don't, you know, it's just best to put this in an order because some of these bolts are longer and some of them are shorter. So put them in a, put them in a place or take a piece of cardboard, draw, kind of like draw the diagram of it out and you'll know where you start and where you're finished and those bolts should line up back the way they are because some of them are shorter and some of them are longer and I'll show you in a second. Now I know the second bolt that I'm going to take out is longer than the first bolt I just took out. This is the second bolt. This is the first bolt. And as you can see, the first bolt I took out is longer than the second bolt. So I'm going to lay it in a pattern that I will remember how they went in. All right, let's move it along. Now, I'm going to stop right here because I forgot I need to take uh, the gear shifter off. So uh, that's what I'll do now is take this gear shifter off. So that's the gear shifter assembly. I've taken it off. And I'm going to uh, put the screw uh, back in here so I, uh, I don't lose it. Now we can finish taking out the rest of the bolts. And that's how you remove the sprocket cover. Now we're going to have to take out this, uh, the clutch cable and you're going to need a screwdriver because there's a tab on the end of that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't have a whole lot of light in the uh, shop, but there's a little tab that you got to bend out before you can get this cable out. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go get a screwdriver and uh, bend that tab out. So there's that little tab I'm bending out and I think I have enough to wear the cable, let's see, maybe not, bend it out a little more. And there you go. That's the uh, cable that was taken loose from the from its housing right here. All right. So now we can take the cable out, the uh, clutch cable out of the uh, cover. 
<clears throat> okay, there we go. And there you go. And that's where it broke, right there. Wow. Now, hey, let's go ahead and put the new one on. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna reverse the process and put the new uh, sprocket cover on. So we'll have to use the, we'll have to put the clutch cable in first. The spring is reattached. Now, don't forget to push this tab back down to lock that clutch cable in. That's all done. And now it's a simple case of reinstalling the sprocket cover to the, to the body. Now, be, be mindful of the, of the uh, kickstand wire there's a little cutout and just run it along the sides and you should be good. Now we'll start tightening them up. Now I'm I don't know what the torque value of these are. I ordered my uh, I ordered my uh, manual and it hasn't come yet. So I'm just going to tighten these up a little bit, and then off camera uh, later on when the manual comes in, I'll torque these down to spec. Don't forget about your gear shifter, lever, once again, um, because I don't have the gear, the uh, torque rating specs on me, I'm only going to uh, tighten these the gear shifter assembly, just hand tight or ratchet tight. I'm not going to try to over tighten it because the manual will be coming in in a few days. And then I'm going to come back and I'll torque everything to sport, to uh, I'll, I'll torque everything to spec. I'm just trying to get it on there for right now. And then we'll deal with the specs a little later on. And lastly, I'll install the speed sensor. Put the speed sensor bolt in there and install the speed sensor. And the same on the speed sensor. I'm just going to put it in for right now and then uh, I think my manual should be here in a couple of days. I'll come back and I'll torque everything to spec. But now, that's it. Sprocket covers in, brand new. I'll work out the shifting a little bit later on, tor torque everything down, and that's it. Okay, I'll meet you guys back over at the bench. All right, guys, I came home after putting the sprocket cover on because it's almost winter time here in Detroit, Michigan, and it was about 28 degrees in my storage uh, garage, and my feet started getting cold, so 
after I installed the sprocket cover, I decided to come home and to record the ending in the warmth of my home. All right, so uh, stay tuned for part six. Uh, hopefully in part six, we will be syncing the carburetors up. Um, and also, please do not leave, uh, also leave in the comments uh, a name for my cat. All right. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Solo Black 313 and I make motorcycle related content. All right. So uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. Now, I don't normally talk like this or, 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 or ask this. I've never done this before, but I'm very close to my thousand subscribers. I'm less than 300 away and it would do me a great service and I'll be greatly honored. I'm trying to push for that thousand subscriber mark. So if you come to the channel, you like it, of course I want you to subscribe, so subscribe to the channel, all right? So subscribe, and also what helps me are the likes and the comment. Uh, everybody knows about the algorithms that YouTube uses, which helps me also is your likes and subscriptions. So uh, subscribe, like, and press the a notification icon that way you'll know every time I upload a video to YouTube and once again please in the comments if you will help me pick a name for my cat and I'll share that information in another video so until next time I'm Solo Black 313 Rise and Ride and I'll catch you the next time